There is geometry in the humming of the strings. There is music in the spacing of the spheres. A fool is known by his speech, and a wise man by silence. Be silent or let thy words be worth more than silence. Indeed, he who sows the seed of murder and pain cannot reap joy and love. For as long as men massacre animals, they will kill each other. As long as man continues to be the ruthless destroyer of lower living beings, he will never know health or peace. Do not go to bed until you have gone over the day three times in your mind. What wrong did I do? What good did I accomplish? What did I forget to do? Educate the children and it won't be necessary to punish the men. The oldest, shortest words, yes, and, no, are those which require the most thought. Do not say a little in many words, but a great deal in few. If there be light, then there is darkness. If cold, heat, if height, depth, if solid, fluid, if hard, soft, if rough, smooth, if calm, tempest, if prosperity, adversity, if life, death. Rest satisfied with doing well, and leave others to talk of you as they please. As soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. No one is free who has not obtained the empire of himself. No man is free who cannot command himself. If you have a wounded heart, touch it as little as you would an injured eye. There are only two remedies for the suffering of the soul, hope and patience. Don't try to cover your mistakes with false words. Rather correct your mistakes with examination. Let no one persuade you by word or deed to do or say whatever is not best for you. No one is free who has not obtained the empire of himself. No man is free who cannot command himself. In anger we should refrain both from speech and action. Learn to be silent. Let your quiet mind listen and absorb. Learn silence. With the quiet serenity of a meditative mind, listen, absorb, transcribe, and transform. Silence is better than unmeaning words. Choose rather to be strong of soul than strong of body. If you're asked, what is the silence? Respond. It is the first stone of the wisdom's temple. It is better to be silent than to dispute with the ignorant. Do not talk a little on many subject, but much on a few. Salt is born of the purest parents, the sun and the sea. A man is never as big as when he is on his nest to help a child. Strength of mind rests in sobriety, for this keeps your reason unclouded by passion. There is nothing so easy but that it becomes difficult when you do it reluctantly. Choose always the way that seems the best. However rough it may be, custom will soon render it easy and agreeable. 
friends or as companions on a journey, who ought to aid each other to persevere in the road to a happier life. Know thyself and thou wilt know the universe. Anger begins in folly and ends in repentance. Most men and women, by birth or nature, lack the means to advance in wealth or power, but all have the ability to advance in knowledge. Numbers have a way of taking a man by the hand and leading him down the path of reason. The soul of man is divided into three parts, intelligence, reason, and passion. Intelligence and passion are possessed by others' animals, but reason by man alone. We ought so to behave to one another as to avoid making enemies of our friends, and the same time to make friends of our enemies. Reason is immortal, all else mortal. Above the cloud with its shadow is the star with its light. Above all things reverence thyself. The highest goal of music is to connect one's soul to their divine nature, not entertainment. The most momentous thing in human life is the art of winning the soul to good or evil. Souls never die, but always on quitting on a boat pass to another. All things change, nothing perishes. Concern should drive us into action and not into a depression. No man is free who cannot control himself. Number is the ruler of forms and ideas and the cause of gods and demons. The wise man should be prepared for everything that does not lie within his control. The beginning of every government starts with the education of our youth. Let exercise alternate with rest. Some are slaves of ambition or money but others are interested in understanding life itself. These give themselves the name of philosophers, and they value the contemplation and discovery of nature beyond all other pursuits. There is a good principle which created order, light, and man, and an evil principle which created chaos, darkness, and women. Each celestial body, in fact each and every atom, produces a particular sound on account of its movement, its rhythm or vibration. All these sounds and vibrations form a universal harmony in which each element, will having its own function and character, contributes to the whole. Friendship is one soul in two bodies.